What is going on everybody? This is Jay here from Maji and Jay today coming with the unboxing and the review of these VR glasses that I purchased from AliExpress for only 32 US dollars. But now before we get started, today is July 4th of 2016, so I would like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a happy holiday. Uh, we celebrate the Independence Day of the United States of America, and I am glad to say that I was off today from the post office since we work pretty much every single holiday. So these are called the Bobo VRC4. Again, they came from AliExpress, 32 US dollars, and these are, at least from my search, the first VR glasses that come included with headphones, as you can tell from the picture. Not only that, but they are also compatible with the cardboard application from Google, so you get tons of support and they work phenomenally well. So here getting a look around the box, on the front we just got the logos including the brand and of course the description of the item. On the side it's absolutely plain, on the other side we don't have anything going on here and on the back as well. So getting a look inside. Removing this protector, we're going to find the plain white box, so I wouldn't be surprised if these are rebranded all the time. So here we got that foam, and they come very well protected. Um, I got these actually this time through ePacket from AliExpress, and it took about 10, uh, 10 business days to arrive. With weekends, it was about 12 or 13 days total, so I think it was quite fast considering that I didn't have to pay for shipping. Now the first item you find here which is really important that you guys keep around is the manuals. These are very important because when you open the cardboard application you need to scan this QR code otherwise you won't be able to calibrate it properly so just keep that in mind you can't throw these away. And they gave you tons of uh, explanation of pretty much how to use it even though they are quite simple as you guys can tell it's only a tiny little page. And here we have all the components of these VR glasses okay it tells you exactly what everything is so that way you guys know what you're doing when you're using them. So setting this aside, inside we also have a cleaning cloth for your lenses and then we're going to have the product itself and that's about it guys. So let me just go ahead and set up the box aside so that we can have more space and see the product better. And here they are, they come protected in this film. Like I said, it comes with tons of protection which is really cool. That way you ensure that your item doesn't come damaged from the box. So here guys on the side we can see already the headphones which is the main attraction of these VR glasses. I know there's tons of brands out there but I think that these stand out quite well from the competition. I have rejected a lot of VR glasses reviews and this is an example right here. I got these about three weeks ago. Uh, if you want I can show you here briefly exactly what I'm talking about. They have no support whatsoever when it comes to the cardboard application. We know that um, you know it's very needed in order to play certain games and stuff so here we got the manuals first of all they don't have English support and then here we have the VR glasses itself this is so that you guys compare and see that not all of them are the same so these don't have the action button needed to play games they just have here the uh, pupil uh, calibrator and um, also the focal uh, lens uh, adjustment and that's pretty much all you get so yes these are quite cheap and that's why again I decided not to bring the review I don't do them with uh, every product that I get unfortunately so setting this aside and getting back here to the subject on the front here we have a transparent cover that has the brand and also the model opening it this is where you enter the phone and they come with some uh, headphone piece here this is the auxiliary cable so that you can plug it into your smartphone and listen to the audio on the headphones very very cool uh, I would say design here and then inside it also comes with this little piece of plastic that every time you enter your phone it will keep it nice in place. Uh, it does protect it quite well from scratches because this material is like a foamy type of material that uh, prevents it from getting scratch or damage when you place them in here which is something really really nice. On the top of the VR glasses we got here the PD wheel which stands for pupil distance so that you can calibrate it to your likes. Um, on the side we got here the focal length um, knob so that we can adjust it again to have the best focus possible. Okay this is really neat and then another cool part about these little uh, viewer glasses is that you can set up the headphones and adjust them to your likes as well which is something quite neat. On the inside here we're going to find some padding. It's very comfortable. We got this little decompression piece on the top for your head that gives you a lot of comfort. These straps are also made of uh, very high quality. They come with uh, good quality Velcro I would say and you can adjust them as well. So yes, all in all these are made of very nice quality all the way around. Now something that I have to complain about is uh, this foaming part here after two uses. 
they start to wrinkle a little bit as you guys can tell also they absorb sweat so if you don't clean your face before usage they might start smelling weird after a little while but that's my only complaint so far when it comes to the earphone quality i would say it's about average they sound pretty nice they are lacking bass um, in my personal testing but i think that's okay because for the price that we are getting these we can't ask for much. So now that we got a 360 view around the VR glasses, I think it's time to grab my cell phone and give you guys your little demo on how to set it up. Let's get started. To get started, the first thing you must do on your smartphone is get the cardboard application. After doing so, you open it. And normally it would give you a little guide on how to set it up, but in my case, I already completed it. So I'm just going to pretend I'm going to switch it. And for this, you click the first option. And then here we have that QR code reader. So for this, you're going to need your manuals. This is very important that you do so. Sometimes it takes a minute or so to focus. It's trying to focus and almost there. There we go. And in my case, it says successfully paired because I have done it before and that's all you had to do. So now every time you get an application for uh, VR viewing, it's going to calibrate it for you automatically. There's nothing that you need to do. So now let's say I want to use the Insidious 3 uh, VR sample or trailer if you want to call it. It will automatically give you that dividing line before you put it in your VR glasses. So let me just wait until that continues there. Let's click here, continue, and continue. And there we have the line. So now all we had to do is open the front case here. And then we had to connect the headphone auxiliary cable on the side of your smartphone. You flip it around. Make sure that this is centralized with the line on your uh, VR glasses. Okay, let me see if I can give you the best sample here. And uh, there we go. It's about a line right there. I'm pretty sure you guys can't see this because it is quite dark, but I have already calibrated. And now you flip your phone around. Make sure that your lenses are clean before you do so. And there we can see that everything is all set to go. So yes, guys, everything is working quite well on the bottom here. I forgot to mention that we had the action button. This is a uh, very, much needed when using the cardboard application not every single uh, VR glass has it uh, out there in the market so again this is super important to have it then on the left hand side here we got the volume rockers okay to increase the volume and to decrease it and you can also answer and decline phone calls with the same button so it has three functions in one very very neat so again guys these are very well completed in terms of quality now unfortunately I can't show you a sample because we know that's uh, quite impossible but you have to take my word for it these are very nice little VR glasses especially for the price 32 US dollars uh, they are quite amazing and to be honest with you guys I've never been a VR guy if you probably know my channel I don't provide a lot of videos for this as a matter of fact this is my first video I just saw that they were so nice in quality and so affordable that uh, you know a lot of you guys might be interested now in a separate video, I might provide a sample with a little Bluetooth remote because right now all I can do is just watch some movies and uh, maybe some trailers and play some basic games, but I can't control a lot of these settings without that remote. So I will have to maybe complete a separate video showing you guys the remote that I purchased and how it works and so on and so forth. But for right now, you guys got basically an overview of how these work, how well they are constructed and so on. Now, one more thing that I would like to do before we um, conclude the video is go ahead and show you a audio sample coming from the earphones. So let's get started. As I said before, in terms of quality, they are acceptable. The sound is quite clear. I mean, they're not very, very loud where they're going to blow your ear off, but I think that's not the purpose of these little headphones. Uh, they provide, guys, what they are intended to provide. Um, it's not going to be anything amazing. They're not comparable to Bose, Beats, or anything like that. So don't expect anything crazy, but it is very cool to have it on here, especially for the price point of only 32 US dollars. So with this being said, we have concluded the video today. And as always, if you guys do have any questions, you know exactly what to do. Just leave your comment below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you on my next one.